Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Yeah, you heard. The Don wants to speak to you. Hey, back on. I don't know. I just delivered a message, man. Hey, Earth. The Don wants to see you right now. Irvington, what is this that I hear? You do some show to drink champs. Who is this guy? Noriega. I know the new, the real Noriega. This guy's not Noriega. I don't know what these rap guys they they doing out here. I know the real Noriega. This guy <laughs> from left rap queens. He's talking about his Noriega. I don't understand these rap kids. I adopted you into this mafia family because you love that lifestyle, Irvington. The number one rule, Irvington. If you want to be a mobster, It takes a lot to be a monster, Irving. Look at me when I'm talking. Pick your head. Look at your dog. Come in. Kiss the ring. Okay. Now, Irvington. First rule of being a monster is you don't get high on your own supply. You don't get high on those goddamn supply. Everything. <coughs> you know the dog is very ill, everything. I would still put my foot in your ass. <clears throat> what do you mean? You let them give you heroin. You fucking idiot. What is wrong with you? You really mean you let them give you heroin on the train camps? Are you saying that? You know you have kids out here. You have children out here, Irvington. Irvington. You want to see your little kids? DJ, he has family. They watch you up there. What are you doing, Irvington? Say they gave you hair on. Mobsters don't play like that. Mobsters don't play like that. This is how you know real street niggas. No street nigga is joking about being a chunky. What are you doing, Irvin? We adopted you into this lifestyle. You are not a mobster for real. But you carry the image of one. 
You are saying on drink champs that they gave you heroin. Image is everything. What are you doing, Herbert? Sit down. I don't give a fuck if you got to piss. You will piss in that fucking scene until I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fucking move you at me. You fucking me, daughter. You talking about you taking heroin? You know what you doing to the hip hop culture? I'm getting calls from all the monsters. What is this guy doing? Telling the youth they gave him heroin. Listen to me. You get the fuck. Oh, Get in my pressure. You get on the next platform and you clear that up. You clear it up. You was not on no heaven. Let them know you was choking. You numb skull. Nick come poop. Why are you promoting heroin? You think it's a joke? You ever been up early, early in the morning to be out there to get that early money? Because they only come out in the mornings. It ain't crack. You ever lived that life? You be up with the girls because they need they shit early. You ever bag that shit up, Irvington? Scared to death that you don't want to smell it when you blended it and packed it. And you want to choke about being on it? You didn't live it. You didn't live it. You don't have the right to choke about it. I think it's fun seeing dope feeds lean. These kids watching you. Everything. We adopted you into this gangster shit. And this is the thanks we get. You wasn't a mobster. Don't joke about that. Everything. Damn you, Irving Ten. And then you're mad at the girl I shot. Let it go. Millions of girls out here. Let it go. Open your heart to something else. Why are you calling the girl a BITC? Their relationships all. Why you call a girl out her name, Irvington? Irvington. Why you call a girl out her name? Ashanti. She's a princess. Put the fucking bottle down. Put it down. You had enough ace of spade up on the drink chairs. Are you an alcoholic now? I don't understand you, Irvington. You're breaking all the laws. The seven families are watching. 
and you call in the princess a bitch. You're looking like a bitch. You like your feelings is hurt, Irvington. Ashanti broke your heart. We understand it. We monsters. Did you see what Ginger did to De Niro and Casino? She was a filthy whore, but he still had to go take care of the food and beverage. You stay your ass in food and beverage, you don't worry about what Ginger's running around doing. She wanna keep running around with that funny rapper, Schnelly, you let her do it. You's a monster. What is you doing all this shit for? You mad cause she don't wanna throw up a fake gang sign. You're not a gang banger, Gotti. The girl don't wanna act no more. She don't wanna be a gang banger. But she love you, Gotti. You mad cause she don't wanna throw up a fake gang sign. You're not a mobster. It's entertainment. She's dealing with jail and Rico. If she goes like this, that means she's part of the game. She don't want to go. She wants to sing, God. The girl wants to sing. You really think it's murder? No, it's a record label, Gotti. You can't be mad at the girl. Ashanti's not Keisha from New Jack City. It's not Rockabye, baby. No, she wanted to sing lullabies. She don't want to rock a pie. She wants to sing lullabies. Gotti, it gets so close up in the movie, Gotti. You want the girl to jump out the car with the AK-47. She wants to be the princess. She wants to sing lullabies. You want her to be the girl from New Jack City. Rock a pie, Grandpa. <laughs> Gotti, what are you doing, Gotti? You let Nori get you drunk, Gotti. He got you high. And you turned into the character, Gotti. You broke all the laws. The seven families are upset with you, Gotti. And they put me up to talk to you. You could have been riding here with a, somebody in the back seat ready to whack you, Gotti. You know Nori will set you up. He's from with the crimey. Era. He made grimy. He would lead you right to Jay-Z. Off to my next subject. Gotti. What are you doing, Gotti? Are you, are you, because you got your 300 million now, Gotti? You're gonna throw all the streets away, Gotti? You're gonna throw Jay-Z under the bus, Gotti? Gotti, what are you doing, Gotti? Gotti! Put the fucking champagne down! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. 
then you fail. Studio case. You don't know. You don't know real street shit. When you pull this, shut the fuck up, Kali. Real street niggas know when to shut the fuck up, Kali. What are you doing, Kali? Are you trying to get the niggas to take it all away from us, Kali? Made in America, Kali. Kali. Nori tried to warn you, Gotti. Gotti. That's too touchy, Gotti. It's going to look like you was doing money laundering, what they accused you of, Gotti. And what do you do, Gotti? You try to snitch on Jay-Z, Gotti. Gotti says... Uh huh. Well, it wasn't us. It might have been some other people. They can't get Jay now. He a billionaire now. He got away now. Nigga, what? If you did not see this interview, with, you could go over on my Instagram right now at Choke No Joke Official. I'll wait for you to come back. I ain't going nowhere. And see this dude, Irv Gotti. Sit there. and throw the whole streets away. Like niggas ain't out here trying to get their shit together to go start a, a, a legit business. Whether it be music, film, real estate, whatever it is. This nigga sits here and it, it really goes and say, Yo, I'm doing the flick about how drug dealers uh, make record labels and make it. So Nori like, whoa, oh God, I don't think you wouldn't do that. That is saying, you're gonna make a movie about what they accused Murder Inc. of with Supreme. He said, yeah, but it wasn't us. They just had the wrong person. He was like, but it was Jay. He was Jay, but they can't do nothing to Jay now because Jay done got away with it. Jay a billionaire now. They can't do nothing to him now. Shit, when Jay was in the studio recording Can I Live. He, we was waiting on him at d, &D studio. He was coming up I-95. He just finished moving 90 bricks. He came to the studio with the bag of money. I swear to God this nigga said this shit. Now, for all y'all motherfuckers say, I just be hating on Jay-Z, right? Let's go back to the alleged Jay Z one three seven conspiracy theory, right? Now, if I gave y'all seven parts that which I broke up from that line, right, to establish to y'all that Jay was uh, a part of the syndicate with Emory and them, and he was the nigga hitting, them, right? If Irv just said. Jay came back from moving 90 some bricks and had the bag of money and came to the studio. We was waiting on him to get off the highway and everybody went to jail.
but the nigga that's supplying everybody that's giving me from the federal informant allegedly and allegedly before that. Okay. Y'all keep thinking I'm tripping. Irv done told it, right? I guarantee you, Irv has JT's right now in um, Lowe's, Old Depot. Yo, y'all got some black eat? Nah, like black, black ball. I need black ball or black list. Black. And if you got something blacker than black, black that's gonna really black ball the shit and black ball a nigga. Like, I don't wanna ever talk to this nigga again. Black. I need that. You got that? I need super black ball black. Or blacker than black, lack of black, black, list black. But like, like I don't want you, I don't want nobody to ever ever hear of Irv again black. You got that type of black? Cause this, yo, yo I'm sitting there like, yo, the nigga said, uh, Norby said, yo, that's everything they accuse y'all of. Yeah. But it wasn't us. <laughs> Sorry, fans. Y'all fucked up. It was Jay-Z. Uh, but he got away. Uh, he a billionaire now. This is where you know Herb is not no fucking street nigga. He would have never said no shit like that nigga. Bill Cosby just got charges brought up on his ass from time when Jay-Z wasn't even fucking born, nigga. I might be exaggerating a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, they damn sure went hella back. I guarantee you, fuck shit. They went further back than when Jay-Z fucking was fucking selling anything with Bill Cosby. That nigga probably still was in school. I know some people want to go on drink champs and drink so they can have the illest episode. I think that's what Earl falls under. And then you got somebody like me. If I was ever going there, I ain't drinking shit. Because of that, you're not going to get. And nor is the devil. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just. Uh, metaphorically speaking, as far as his role <clears throat> as the protagonist in the show. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? So his job is to get you wasted, you know what I'm saying, off the spirits. That's what alcohol is, spirits. That's why they call it spirits, because it changes you. The demons, the spirits, they take over you, and you're not your normal self. This is why when you get drunk, some motherfuckers, you all can't stand when they get drunk. Or certain people, you won't even hang with if they get drunk. And you got some people that know they can't drink because the spirits do do weird things to them to their ass. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't deal with the spirits, like and, and be mellow with the spirits. Some people black out and, and, and very aggressive when they drink spirits. You know what I'm saying? It it, it you drinking it to uh, it affect your spirit, or you're not drinking it for nothing else. I don't care if it's a, a mimosa, you know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what alcohol is. You're drinking and conjuring spirits. This is why your fucking mood change. If you don't have a figure that out and you just thought, oh, it's just some, some wheat and barley and stuff and I'm, I'm just buzzed, man. 
You know, you your spirit is doing something different. If, if that's what uh, alcohol is, spirits. It's that's why. If you, I don't know. It depends on where you live at. If you if you live in certain places and you're going there, you'll see the signs. It's, you walk into the whole shit called spirits. It's like fucking witch poison. It all of it. You know what I'm saying? Devil's poison, whatever you want to call it. No matter how mellow it is, whatever you're dealing with some form of type of witchcraft or uh, something that the people conjuring up chemicals to change your your spirit. Like, what are you going to say? Oh, I got drunk. Drunk is what? You're intoxicated. You feel in a way what, 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 what is what are we made of? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know. But like I said, depending on where you live at, it may be called the ABC store. It might be uh, wines and spirits. It may be a package store. But overall, it's spirits. Getting back to drinking, you got a whole damn near ritual going on in there. You know, whether you're doing a drink game, you're seeing a whole bunch of candles in there. They gave Irv some type of candy, told him the candy will make him sober. Make make him sober. What, what can the candy do? Or what sense that y'all, or spell y'all got in the candy that can make somebody sober? A, a candy can change your spirits to a sober spirit. I'm telling you, if you ain't see the show, they handed him a candle and said, yo, you too drunk here. Sniff this candle. It'll sober you up. I'm not walking in that place. That is all witchcraft, allegedly, in my opinion. I'm not playing those type of games. I'm not playing those type of games. But... Earth spirits. And maybe the fact that he got this money now was, I don't give a fuck. He sat up there, so he told the FBI that, uh, when they asked him to take the time uh, off every six months. Yeah, I told him, suck my. Uh, he, he was feeling stuff. Yeah, I told him. He repeated. Yeah, I told him. Suck my. Yeah, and no, he's like the FBI. You told the FBI. Yeah, I told him. He suck my. I said, okay, okay, Irvington. Okay, bro. Okay. Yeah, and, and Jabu, you are what dudes call a friend. You are a real friend. You are a real friend. You try to stop her so many times. I like how you checked them with the Ashanti uh, thing. I wish you would have checked Fat Joe like that when he called Vita and Little Mo with Crackhead. Uh, beads and all that outside. So I think that you kind of learn from that mistake when you're in a position like that to really be vocal uh, when someone's being disrespectful to our queens. And Irv was very emotional and trying to be super gangster and hard uh, for the interview and like kept referring to her as a bitch and that, that wasn't cool. That was cool. And I like Jaru checked the nigga like, yo, got it. Like, and then you know, I, like Jaru, he still do shows with his shots. You know what I'm saying? So he don't want that friction where he sat up through a whole interview and this nigga, yo, that B, that, yo, that B, yo, that B, that B, yo, that B, I said that B. 
That nigga John was like, yo, God, why you kind of, and I like, I like, I, I like, Ja Rule, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a piece of you. I'm going to take a piece of you because I, I learned watching you in that interview that you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to be aggressive with your approach when checking somebody or even when, when they wrong. You know what I'm saying? You can say it very cool and softly and get the same effect. I learned that from Ja Rule. Like, because Ja Rule really wanted to be like, yo, nigga, stop calling shots. You a bitch, nigga. I got to fucking work with her, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Ja Rule said, yo, God, yo. Oh, why you gotta keep calling up this? Right? And then there it goes. Uh, you know you right, you right, you right. Like, yeah, like, come on, bro. Like, please, come on. Uh, all right, all right. And from that point on, Irv didn't call Ashanti uh uh, uh, uh the B word anymore. And, and it, you know, it, it was hurting me as a Shanti fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you call my baby? You gonna still call my music, man. <laughs> so, Ja, thank, thank you for that. Because now, moving forward for me, when I go to address somebody, me, and I got a big voice just like you, Ja. You know what I'm saying? So our voices can come off. If we project it louder, you know, it, it, it's bigger and it can come off intimidating. So I just learned from you to just say it, but hey, can you please just get the, get the F out of my face? I ain't got to be like, yo, nigga, get the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Now, now I know I can just, hey, can you just, I had to move back a little bit. Cause I really don't want to slap the shit out of you. I I like that. Like I really, it's it's it's, 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 it's a lot of soothing. Like I don't get my my temperature up with nothing. Like you just, yeah. Oh, you really think so? Huh? What's going on there? So I could knock you right across your head. Yeah, I'll knock your damn head. Off. <laughs> God, <I'm trying. laughs> John, John, John got that smooth, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then you pull out the goddamn golf club. <laughs> but, um, uh, just take, take this in consideration. You already said what you're going to say. You said you're making a movie about a, a, a drug dealer that starts a record label and makes it and rises off into the sunset. And then you said, you said it was Jay-Z. Like, you, said, you already gave it away. So you making the, 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 the Rockefeller movie, you know what I'm saying? Because you just gave it away. That's what you just said. So you're doing the Rockefeller movie. And when when making the film, because now you already put it out there, you know what I'm saying? And the way you said it, like yo, that's our however, that's our celebration. You're gonna make it hard for every other nigga out that's still hitting the pavement, trying to legitimize itself. Now, if they say that they want to do a record label, you're just putting this stigma on them right now that, oh, they was a drug dealer if they sold, or they started so It's like, some of y'all, y'all, like, y'all don't be thinking long-term 
Y'all be thankful for the moment. But when y'all niggas get money and y'all up, y'all start forgetting about the other niggas that's still in the dirt. But I, I know, I, like, I, I'm gonna, you're going to get a pass. You get a pass because you was wasted. You know what I'm saying? In your right mind, I, I, I know you probably would have said 85% of the stuff that you said. You know what I'm saying? But just know you definitely threw Jay-Z under the bus. And I know I'm the Jay-Z hater. Everybody going to say, oh, Joe, you just said that. Yeah, you go watch it. You go watch it. And you tell me how it would normally be like, like, yo, God, that's too close to what they accused you of. That's a touchy subject. He said, he's like, they going to think it's you. He don't, but it wasn't us. And uh, Jay got away. Jay's a billionaire now. They can't do nothing to him. You just told us the whole shit is about Jay Z. I want to believe I might have a little spark in this, to spark this idea. You told me I was asleep and I just woke up. You might have been watching me like, yo, this nigga choke. This shit choke saying there's a movie. I'm about to make it. Because everybody saying choke, you got a movie on you. I already got a whole script for, and I'm not going to talk about it. Because niggas are scared of ideas. But, he just was asleep and woke up and decided, oh, I'm going to make this movie about Jay-Z. Really, y'all? When, when niggas hate me for, for telling this story, right? Niggas hate fucking behaving for fucking telling this story. Now, Irv goes and drinks and wakes up that he's going to make a movie about Jay-Z. And get none of us inspired. Okay. 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 Y'all heard it first on Drink Chance. You heard it first broken down right here. Man. Shout out to uh, Nori, DJ EFN. So if y'all didn't see it, check it out. But uh, please do uh, believe that uh, her phone rung by the time that episode was off. That brother said way too much, bro. He's like, yeah, and yeah, y'all go, most of y'all like, oh, choke the statute of limitations is up. He can say that now. Oh, really? <laughs> Tell that shit to Bill Cosby. All right? Tell that shit to Eddie uh, R. Kelly. All right? And them niggas ain't even have drugs. Irv, no, we got you. He got another one. You, you the drink. You got the drunk champ title right now. I forgot who had it before. Uh, oh, crazy moment. Great crazy boy had the drunk champ tiger. You know what I'm saying? This time, Nori drunk your ass under the goddamn building, nigga. He drove you under the building. He drunk you under the building, brother. That shit hurt to me. Shanti said, y'all want to do this? Yo, she didn't want to do this 
Ja Rule, you're a friend, man. You know, Ja Rule, you need to do that song over for cheers or some shit. Because now when I see you, every, every the song gonna pop in my head. Uh, oh, where to go? Everybody know your name. Boom, 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 boom. And they always glad you came. Boom, boom, boom. You want to be where you can see. Then da 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 like to say, to break away from Earth like Jay did with Dan. Ja, would Ja be that Ja did with uh, Ashanti did with Ja? Probably want, would have always wanted to do because it's uh, got the action for like. Like that drink truck episode, like John damn near moved his chair away from him so he wouldn't be in, in his shot so much. Like, yo, that's him. You know what I'm saying? And that 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 drink chair interview, even though John loved Herb to death, I guarantee you he would never do another interview that would put him in a position like that. Where he got to sit next to, to where Irv and Irv talk about people the way that he did in this interview. Like, y'all, y'all, I know y'all say it. I'm, I'm, I'm hating on the Jay Z nigga, but I swear to God, when you watch this interview, you're not going to tell me this nigga ain't throwing up this nigga under the bus. And I could break it down more, but then niggas would be like, Yo, you drive snitch, you giving them an idea. I'm not going to do that. If you street, you and you and you watch that interview, and you hear how Irv's, uh, Norby tell Irv, yo, that's a touchy subject. Like, you doing a film about drug dealers becoming, uh, starting regulators and making it and riding off into the sunset? He's like, y'all don't think, you know, that's kind of touch. That, that is... That's what the feds arrested you for. He said, yeah, but it wasn't us. You know how you do that thing? But it wasn't us. It was Jay, you know, but they didn't get Jay. He got away. He a billionaire now. Ain't nothing they need to do. When we was doing Can I Live, Jay was coming up I-95. He just came from selling 90 bricks. He came to the studio with the money in the bag. Shane Jay, that's the partner with Desiree Perez. The same Jay that allegedly was getting hit by a wall, who's married to Desiree Perez. So Jay, that, that Jay, right, that was getting hit by the girl that got caught in 94 with 35 bricks and only did six months because she wore wires in Puerto Rico and Mexico and sat on the stand and told on people and then was on, got six months and pro, uh, federal probation, then ran on probation and 98 got caught again, arrested again, with a gun, some work, or whatever the charges is. I let y'all say because I don't have the paper in front of me. But he got arrested again in 98, right around the time when J Boys, Emery, Todd, D. Hayden get arrested while they recording reasonable doubt. So, Irv, you are confirming that 
Jay just dropped off the 92 bricks in maybe what? Allegedly Trenton or Maryland and came to the studio because he's rapping about these, these guys and the stuff that they're doing. And you saying it was real? You testifying to that, right? And you testifying that he came to the studio and you saw the bag of money. And you know that he just came from a, a driving up. He was waiting on him from the driver at 995. And he came right in the studio and did this. And spit the lyrics. And he was spitting stuff that he was. So you are saying that, right? And you're saying that, oh, I can say it now because he got away with it. But the, how did he pay for the studio? With what money? To start what label? With what money? This is when street niggas ain't street niggas and they just run in their mouth. So you thinking that, oh, it's eons later. He done got away. And I'll tell you about truth being goddamn I mean, baseline being like the, the truth in the power series. And Earth come telling this goddamn story. Like, how you pay for the studio time? Where did, oh, so he was selling drugs at the so he didn't have a legit job. Like, I'm not gonna get in no more, uh, I'm not gonna get into no more detail in, in, into that. Because then it was like, I'm dry, but I'm just trying to paint a picture for those that really don't get it that I can give you enough for you to get it your goddamn self. Irv was not the smartest person with getting up there and saying he was on heroin, heroin, holding on that ace of spades. Like he had an endorsement job to do that. Um, and had the nerve to have one of Rockefeller chain. I don't get it with y'all dudes who never been down with us in Rockefeller. Everybody got a Rockefeller chain. Yo, Jay, I need my chain, bro. They like, Jay, come on, dog. Like, this nigga Irv is up on there with a fucking Rockefeller chain. I know he contributed to the beginning and reasonable doubt and all that stuff, blah, 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 got to invest in. But, bro, damn, Irv, like, you didn't, y'all don't have a murder ain't chain? You didn't want to brand your own self? You got a show getting ready to come out. And you go up there wearing a Rockefeller chain. Like, y'all love this nigga, Jay. Like, y'all got to show him that y'all are... Uh, in his deepest debt at all times. This nigga go on a show and wears a Rockefeller chain, not a murder ain't chain. And he got a murder ain't show coming up. It's all about Brandon. We got to look at him this whole time and think about Jay Z. The whole time we're looking at him at the show, we all you see is the Rockefeller chain. So every time you just take a glimpse down, boom, you start thinking about Jay. Why am I thinking about Jay? Why am I thinking about Jay? And it's Irv up here. And then when he go into Jay, it looks like more idolization. He only got them uh, Ace of Spade bottle like this the whole interview. Which Jay sold it. I don't understand y'all niggas. Like he sold it. It's not 100% black owned anymore. Y'all some guy who sold it to Moet Shondon? Like that company? Like, get over it, Red, man. Y'all forgot that he sold goddamn title to Square? He don't own it no more. It's not no black owned companies. He's been liquidating assets. And y'all niggas are still out here nut hugging. And I'm not hating. It's just facts. Look it up. What's up with the Jedi mind trick, man? He, it's not a black owned champagne no more. He sold it. He sold title. Come on, man. Stop it, man. 
Everything ain't hate. Everything for me is not hate, man. Everything for me is not hate. But niggas be really bootlicking. Like, it, 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 it's, it's insane. Er, just as a person that I know that does music and knows marketing, why you don't have on the Murder Inc. shirt promoting the series? Why would you, if you're not going to promote your own shit, why are you promoting somebody else? Why not have a regular chain on, like Ja Rule? Why are you wearing Jay's chain for a big look? I'm not hating. Jay, I don't know what you do to these niggas. What the, yo. Uh, yeah, yo, Jay, I don't know what the, yo, what do you do to these niggas that they all run around with? Yo, this nigga got his own fucking record label. He got his own record. Well, he ain't got no more. I don't know what. But he had his own brand. He has his own brand. And he goes on a big look. It probably blew more relationships with this interview. And he's branding Jay-Z. Yo, what was he thinking? Yo, I'm doing drink champs today. You know what I'm saying? Out of all his fucking jewelry. All, and we know this nigga got tons of jewelry. All these niggas, they still think jewelry is the shit, right? Doing drink champs. Yeah. Damn. Heard it. It makes sense to wear the murder hate shit. But damn, Jay gonna be watching, you know. Nigga Jay let me, you know, I know Lori and them, you know, they gonna have the, the ace of spade, you know, the, the Rockefeller chain go with the ace of spade. I want, you know, if I wear, if I wear the Rockefeller chain, nigga Jay gonna know I'm fucks with him, fucks with him, fucks with him. Tell him. Yo, if I wear the Jay, if I wear the Rockefeller chain, yo. Yo, I, I know I probably get a couple of more favors. Like, I owe it to Jay. I do owe it to Jay. He got me the deal. He did give me the deal with BET. I, I, I'll go with DJ, man. I, I'm not, I was going to wear the one with my son face on when he was a baby. The diamond encrusted joint on, you know, my rest in peace. Nah, Jay, Jay over everything, baby. Jay over everything. You know what I mean? Jay over everything. Rockefeller, y'all. Yeah. Oh. Rockefeller, y'all. Yeah. yeah, you know. Cause I can't see Jay like calling a nigga like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, no, you told me you gonna do Jay that. <laughs> you and Jack, <laughs> man, be easy, man. All right, <laughs> don't say no dumb shit about me. Don't fucking say no dumb shit about me, guy. <laughs> All right, all right, yeah, yeah, got it. before you go, yeah, playboy, which chain you wearing? Come on, Jay, come on, yo, you want to FaceTime me right now? It's funny you ask, you want to FaceTime me right now? You want to FaceTime me right now? My nigga. <laughs> they sound DJ. They sound DJ. And I ain't even doing no the young nigga shit with the little choker shit. I got the 12 inch shit, nigga. Yeah, Jay. I got the, I brought it back. The 12 inch chain. The 12 inch link. 16 inch. You know what I mean? Yeah, chain and rocket. Yeah, chain. Chain. I got yet chain in the shape. I want 
Je tiens à être dit. I fuck my room, nigga. Nigga, I ain't doing this no more. It's about to tell you, y'all. <laughs> I ain't doing this no more. I'm going up there like this, baby. It's about to fell it now. I'm going to be a billionaire like you, Jay. You know what I'm saying? I got 300 million right now. You know what I mean? I don't throw all y'all niggas under the bus. I'm going to make a movie and just fuck the whole game up. We made our money. We about to close the door. Y'all niggas, baby. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get them the whole blueprint on how to do it. Yeah, the movie's ill. It's called Y'all Street Niggas and Never Eat in the Music Business Again. God damn it. Made in America. Yeah, that, that, that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got it, you got drunk, baby. You got drunk. There's no me. You were drinking that ace of tea. They got you pissy, brother. You had to even get up from the table. You're drinking that ace of tea. Show no joke, man. Y'all know what it is. Damn, Gotti, you threw the boy Hovi under the bus, baby. Hovi, I don't know. How to, let me not call you that, because I don't call you that shit. Jigga man, I know you call her that music. And no, you were supposed to take that out, bro. You did, I don't know why you left that in there, bro. Unless you called Jay and was like, yo, because I know you probably definitely called Jay. It's like, this nigga heard, said black, 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 black. And Jay said, oh, I ain't worried about it. Don't worry, ain't nothing they can do to me. Hey, you can run it. You know what I'm saying? But the streets would be looking at this nigga like he crazy. Go ahead, man. Or, Nori went to pick up the phone and call Jay. And nigga Puff was like, what you doing? What you doing, Playboy? I'm about to tell Jay what her said, man. We can't play this. Oh, Playboy. Who pays you first, Playboy? Just like I told Big, man. I don't care, man. I want to be the last man standing. Phone. You're not calling nobody, you know? Let Jay Z deal with it once it come out. I'm gonna be the last man standing, Playboy. Or well, it could have went that way. It's all alleged, hypothetically speaking. But I Hurt you. I really hope that you took the seriousness of what I said tonight to heart. And think about what I said. And get the fuck out of my office. <coughs> and keep your fucking mouth shut the interviews. And you can't do an interview without no fucking liquor and no fucking heroin. That's how you was doing that. They had you on heroin, Irvin. You was in an interview like this. Yeah, murder ain't started with me. And... Yeah, no, we... so yeah. Don't go up in there talking you on heroin again. You idiot. You don't do that. We don't support drug use. You want a kid to go think and say, what is her wrong? I want to try it. I want to be like Gotti. I want to be like the Drake champs. I want to try heroin. You fucking idiot. You don't fucking do that. You don't inspire the kids to even want to know about heroin.
What are you doing? What was even the purpose of that? And shout out to DJ Effin, EFN. He told you to stop saying that. People are really going to believe that we gave you hair on. I like that, brother, because he always has a voice. That's my mafia, brother. DJ EFN, when I say you, we're going to have shrimp and lobster. You are a real mobster. Nori, stop playing the goddamn devil in the chair. I'm watching you, Nori. You got more gasoline than you than Amoco. You're gassing nigga ass up right into some bullshit, Nori. You watch it, Nori. That's coming from the dog. I done did it before you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> Nori, stop gassing niggas stop. You going to turn to flat TV, Nori. We cannot have that, Nori. We cannot have you be the alleged first 48 of the hip hop community. Vlad TV allegedly Nori. We don't need to, we don't need your 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 interview script to come from the precinct Nori. <laughs> allegedly, we don't need your we don't need your your questions Nori to come from the DA's office in, in the, the prosecutor's office Nori allegedly. You know, we don't want you to be allegedly Vlad TV, Nori, please. Keep dudes like Earth away from that zone, Earth, please. He's not a drug dealer. He's not a real street guy. He don't know what to say and when not to say it. Nori, you have to clip these clips, Nori. Do not be Vlad TV, allegedly, Nori. Thank you, my brother, my NYC brother. Left rack. Nori, next time I see you, we're gonna have lobster too, okay? On you, you rich ass nigga. On you, you rich ass nigga. Yes. And I'm gonna pick the finest lobster and caviar. Okay, Noriega. So, you were, get out of here. Get out of my office right now. And keep your fucking mouth shut, Earth. <laughs> Stick the music. Stop talking about street shit. You are not supreme. You are not supreme. Shut up. You're not even Bimmy. Be at least Bimmy before you start talking to street shit, Earth. You gonna get niggas locked up late in the game, you fool. Shut up. Joke, no joke. You done. I'm here. Truth be told all day, every day, even on a birthday. Shout out to Siani out there and my moderator his squad. The mom I'm out here. Y'all all go to bed now. Signing off the dog. Good night.